Halloween, everybody. We're down here at a beautiful department in downtown Joliet at Cass in Chicago. My good friend Greg here, the manager. And uh, Greg, it is, this is my second or third time here for Halloween. It's always a special night. It's always unique. You never know who's going to walk through that front door. You're going to meet some of these folks here in just a moment. But every single year, the department opens their door. They have a great party, have a wonderful time. But it's always a focus, as usual, for some special charity out there. And uh, Greg, you're going to tell me what tonight is all about and the charity that's going to receive some great benefits tonight. Sure. Um, tonight what we did is uh, ask people to bring in uh, either food or toys for animals, cats, dogs, whatever. Uh, and those are being given to the Will County Humane Society uh, after we collect all of those. And anyone doing so got a ticket for a free drink tonight um, just to say thank you for uh, bringing out, you know, uh, something for the animals. Great, and, and that's a table outside. We might get a shot of that. As the folks are coming in, they drop their uh, their little gifts out there on the table, and uh, it's nice and crisp here tonight. This is our, I think it's just about 39 degrees or so out there tonight, but it's nice and warm and comfortable here and fun at the department. And for those of you who are brand new to the area, uh, just give us a little bit of a tour, if you would, of the department and what the department offers. Um, sure, we have a great banquet facility upstairs, so we do all kinds of parties. We actually had a wedding uh, so, uh, that their theme was Halloween, so... Uh, that was special. Yeah, so was I saw pretty, some of those yeah. folks going upstairs. So it was a pretty neat thing, and uh, and then now we have our Halloween party, so... Uh, and then we do other things. We have a beer and bacon dinner coming up. We try to do all kinds of different stuff. When is that going to take place? Uh, November 15th. You have to make a reservation on our website. Okay, so now what is that about? You said a, a bacon what dinner? It's a beer and bacon. So every course has a different beer, and every course has bacon, including the dessert. So it's kind of like a wine tasting, you know? Yeah. Uh, yep. With beer. Yes. Great idea. Great idea. Now, I, I know it's we're jumping ahead a bit, but I do want to get this in because I look forward to the visit in December here because the place just changes into a winter wonderland. Tell the folks a little bit about... Well, we're going to skip ahead into December, and the department just kind of puts on the Christmas decorations. Sure, absolutely. Uh, it'll take two days to decorate. Uh, crew of 10 comes in uh, on Thanksgiving night and Thanksgiving day, and when we come back after Thanksgiving, the place just looks fantastic. We look forward to it. Uh, Greg, I want to thank you so much for taking time out. Busy, busy night. We're going to talk to some folks, and I'm also going to uh, ask Carol Brendelino to come and help me as we interview some of the folks who are here tonight. And, of course, we've got great disc jockey uh, Mr. Brandolino himself is, uh, came from upstairs for the reception. He's come down here to join us, and uh, he'll be with us in just a moment. All right, we're here with Colleen and my co-host for the third consecutive Halloween, none other than Carol Brandolino is here with you. She's going to do some great interviews, but right behind me, we'll get some nice shots of that in just a moment, in a pumpkin carving contest, and... Colleen, tell me all about it. Well, it's uh, just department-wide, just for the staff, and uh, I actually entered this year, so I'm really excited. And, and what are you going to win? A trip to Rockdale or something special? I win. A trip to your house for lunch. All right. Very good. <laughs> no, we'll get a $50 gift card to the department. Fantastic. Great. Now, see next year. Make sure you get your pumpkin here and get it carved. Carol, you're going to be talking to some folks here tonight who have dressed in fabulous costumes, right? Absolutely. I've, I've tried to pick some out here and there. All right. Now, before we go to them, okay. I want to ask you, why and what are you, what are you tonight? The Some kind of an angel, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. Just ask my husband. This is a costume of comfort. <laughs> I want to call myself the Black Fairy. If you want to call yourself the Black Fairy, just go right ahead and do it. That's it. That's what I am. Or the Fairy of Death. I don't know what I am, but it's comfortable and it's easy to work in. And that's what I wanted to do with a little bit of flair. Yeah, well, Carol's also a professional mixologist or bartender, whichever you want to say. And uh, she is with us tonight helping me out. And Colleen is uh, executive producer tonight. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Good evening. I'm Carol Brand. And for the third consecutive year in a row, we are here downtown Joliet with 
Channel 6 at the Department 205 North Chicago Street. Now, this young lady who has this fabulous costume on has been here I, probably three years in a row, right, Shelly? At least, yeah, at least three. So last year, I do remember, I think you either were the first runner-up or the winner. She was a winter wonderland. Now this year, why don't you let us know what you are? Uh, this year, I'm an absinthe fairy. Uh, an absinthe, absinthe is a liquor that's made with wormwood, and it was banned in like the 1920s. It caused uh, a hallucinogen, but many of the famous authors, like Edgar Allan Poe, used to drink it. It was called, it was a very social alcohol, and since then it has come back, but in a much rarer form. Wow, what an excellent description, and very good on your history. I love the contacts. Do they hurt? Not at all. In fact, the prescription. Oh, that's a very you back as a customer at the department. You come in all the time. Why don't you let us know a little bit of what you like at the department? Both uh, the martinis, the bar, the restaurant. What do you like the most and why? Well, we come in here quite a lot. We come in here on Sundays. They have um, one of the best Bloody Mary bars in like the city of Joliet. And the staff is absolutely phenomenal. The tenderloin sliders are superb. They also have a, it's a cream of wild rice soup. which we're really excited about. And we also come here, um, what, I'm a member of the Rialto, the Preservation Society, so we're, we usually come here like before the shows, make reservations early, guys, it fills up. But Greg, the general manager, he's awesome, he'll take care of you. Thank you so much. I couldn't have said it any better myself, for sure. Thank you very much. And you know what? I hope you do very, very well in our costume contest. Take care. Oh, what a good costume. And a, and a great customer. And I don't know, we might hire her. <laughs> She's so good. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. I'm glad. Carol Brandolino with very cool costumes. I didn't even ask them in advance what they were. I'm just fascinated by the makeup job. I have Lauren and Annika here. Not only are they friends of ours here in the department, they're going to explain to us this is their third <laughs> consecutive year uh, at our Halloween costume contest as well. So, Annika, give us an idea of what it is you guys are today. Um, I don't know. I guess we're just kind of zombies. Lauren is a really amazing makeup artist that saw this and recreated it, and we just wanted to use something different. So It's very, very unique. You did the makeup on all this? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'm a makeup artist. That is fantastic. Well, not only are you guys here at the department for the costume contest and our big Halloween party, but you're also quite often here at our bar and at our restaurant. But what is it? What is it that keeps you coming back to the department? I just really like the ambiance. I like that they have DJs here, good drinks, great food, awesome service. So we always just choose to come spend our money in downtown Joliet. Thank you so much. How about you, Lauren? What keeps you coming back to the department? I just love it. It's like a family atmosphere. You know, like I just feel like I'm like coming home. It's awesome. I love it. Traveling all the way from... I'm Matt. Well, yeah, no, where are you from, Matt? I'm from Joliet. All right, he traveled all the way from Joliet, and I picked this guy out because one of my favorite TV shows, and here he is, starring in his own show here tonight at the department, and I, I love it. You did get the idea from the show, right? From Reno 911, yes. That's fantastic. Um, now, you're here with who? I'm here, I, I used to work here, so yeah. I'm just here to see everybody. They're like a second family to be here. Fantastic, fantastic. Great meeting you, and I hope you win the contest. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hey, Carol, you got some more people to see? Yeah, but first I wanted to say, thank God you're standing next to him, and I'm not, because I'm embarrassed. Look at the legs on this guy. It's he super true for heaven. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yes, I do have somebody else. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I had to hunt this one down. Oh, actually not. You've been behind the bar for a while tonight. This is Robert. Now, I'm sure. I mean, what are you? Let's just do that because I'm not going to guess. I'll be Mad wrong. Mad Hatter, of course. The mad as can be. The Mad Hatter. <laughs> so how much 
you really went into making this costume tonight. You look awesome. A lot, actually. We uh, got all this over in the store, put it all together. Fabric, it's not bought. The only thing that tears is wig, hat, so. So you made the whole thing? Yes, yes, just about everything but the hair and the hat. Damn it. Good for you. You did an awesome job. Uh, I think I've seen you here for a couple years in a row now. This seems to be a, quite a big of event at the department, our uh, third consecutive year for our Halloween costume contest. And we have a lot of fun, so people keep coming back. And what brings you back to the department for the bar, the food, the service? I would say the service and the atmosphere, everything. I mean, you come in and you see everybody dressed up, just having a great time. It's a great location. I just love it. It's a whole, The whole place is great. Very, very cool. Are you going to join the costume contest tonight? You know it. You know it. I'm hoping to win. So let's now let me on. ask you a question. Um, were you the Mad Hatter last year too? No. No, I was not. We went as Beetlejuice and uh, and my and my girlfriend was uh, my partner. So yeah. Very, very cool. Well, I wish you all the best of luck in the costume contest. So you look great and a great job. It shows and all the hard work. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. Thank Have you. a good time tonight. You too. I definitely could not let the night by pass me without talking to these ladies because the one thing that came to my mind was once a bridesmaid, never a bride, or something went very, very tragically wrong at this wedding. So what is it, ladies? Tell me what is behind this awesome costume display. bridal party for me this year. Are you married? I am not. You're the smart one. Yes. <laughs> this is her old wedding dress. This is my old wedding dress. Oh, this was your real wedding dress? Yes. Fantastic. How how hard is it for you to put all the makeup and ruin it? Oh, I loved it. We ran it over with the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's not married anymore. <laughs> Good for you, sister. And how, and how about you? Are you married? Just a, a, a chronic bridesmaid. <laughs> you know what? You took it from me because I have about 12 in my closet. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Are these actual all real bridesmaids' dresses? Yeah, they are. Yep. For sure, for sure. Well, I would, never wear. I would absolutely love to do this to every one of my bridesmaids' dresses. Well, I hope you guys join the costume contest because you guys have a great chance. And you guys look great, having a good time tonight. Let me ask you a quick question. I've seen you all here at the department for dinner or drinks. What brings you back over and over again? We always come back for Halloween. You guys do the best party. We always have a great time. Great atmosphere, great food, great drinks. Yeah, good times. Celebrating birthdays and uh, hanging out for Halloween. Very, very good. Thank you so much, ladies. Have a good time tonight. And we'll see you all later. Good luck. We got these uh, beautiful couple here, and and your name is Joe. Joe, and your name is Jamie. Jamie and Joe have dressed up like, and you're dressed up today like I know who you are. I dream of genies. Yes, but how about this guy over here? What's he supposed to be? He's Lord Hammond from the Spaceballs. Really? Is that what you're gonna be? Excuse me? What you make this out of? Oh, just a garbage can and I melted it, took a torch to it, and just manipulated it kinda, you know? I mean, you look like the real thing. Show them your, uh, I hate to tell you, I don't want to say show your wine. Yeah, this is my lightsaber, and uh, may the Schwartz be with you. Have you been here before for Halloween? Plenty of times, yes. All right. So now, are you gonna win the contest tonight? Huh? Are you gonna win the contest tonight? I hope so. He usually does, though. He does, though. Tonight you are. I'm one of the judges. You're gonna win. We're gonna continue with our tour of Halloween party at the department. All right, we're having fun now. Um, I don't know where to... I'm a, I'm a loofah. You are a what? I'm a loofah. You're a loofah. Of course you are. Of course you are. And uh, dare I ask what you are? Cubs fan. I'm a Cubs fan. A Cubs fan. Did we see? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Next year, Cubs fan. Are you from Joliet? Yes. Are you from Joliet? Yes. Two girls. Find the Cup fan traveling from Joliet just for you. Bobby Brandolino, you are an icon of the Joliet Will County area. You're here tonight. How many years you've been doing this? Oh, since 1987. <laughs> been a very long time. And, and you've been at a Halloween party since 
since they began the Halloween parties here, I think. Exactly. It's the best party in Joliet every year. Halloween at the department rock every year. It reminds me of New Year's Eve. Brendolino, uh, where, where's your store at your shop? I'm located in the Shorewood Plaza, just a quarter mile west of Route 59 on Jefferson Street. Brandolino's right. Encore Music. What a great name, great guy, great business, and a fantastic DJ. Thanks. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate your time. Jeremy, are you having fun? I'm having a blast tonight, having a good time. You know, are you uh, ready for the perfect storm? Oh, absolutely. And I, I, everybody go out there and get some fish and chips, and don't forget Gordon's fish chips are the best. <laughs> uh, have you been here before? I have. I've been to the department many times. Good times here. That's great. great. It's good quality, good people, good times. You're looking like you have a great time. Good to meet you. Hey, it was great and, meeting uh, you, too. Enjoy yourself. All right, you too. Have a good night. Take care. And you know what? That's a wrap here from the department. I'm Richard Fredrickson. Thank you for joining us in the department. We're going to go get a costume and join the gang. So we'll see you next time in downtown Joliet, a city center partnership association production. A Channel 6 special just for you.